guys, so this is a really important announcement. I know that a lot of you probably aren't aware of this, but Hillary Clinton has a vagina, and you should vote for her because of that. Uh, because apparently, you know, if you don't, especially if you're a woman, then you don't support your fellow woman and you should just go to hell. Yeah, I wish, I wish that were an exaggeration, but a lot of people actually follow that train of thought. And I recently got into a debate with someone online who told me that I wasn't in favor of women's rights because I support Bernie Sanders. I have this shirt that I'm selling that says, I'm not tall enough, talk Bernie to me. And uh, a lot of people have actually tweeted at me and written me notes on Facebook and even commented on my Instagram photos wearing the shirt saying, uh, excuse me, aren't you a woman? Why are you promoting Bernie Sanders? Where's your loyalty? So I was kind of surprised that I've been getting this much feedback since my last video where I promoted Bernie Sanders and this shirt. I couldn't believe it, so I went online and I Googled, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton because she's a woman. And I found this article by HuffPost Women. And I started reading it and at first I thought it was satire. I'm like, oh, you know, this can't be real. But it was. Apparently some horrible evil man that's part of the patriarchy made a comment on Facebook saying, new drinking game, take a shot every time Hillary says, as a woman, or as the first woman president. And the author of this article responded by saying, this comment was part of a larger thread of young male Democrats discussing why Bernie Sanders is a better choice for president than Hillary Clinton. I can't say I see his point. I'm assuming, based on the patronizing tone of this man's post, that his intention is to demean or invalidate the candidate each time she points out she's a woman. However, I'm not sure why Hillary reminding the public of her gender is wrong. Actually, I think she's right and she should remind us that she's a woman. Hillary's gender plays an extremely important role in this election and it cannot and should not be ignored. Her gender? Her gender plays an extremely important role in the election? How exactly does her gender play a huge role? That's like, that's like saying, you know, I, well, yeah, I only wanted Obama to win because he was black. Gotta have the first black president, you know, I mean, yeah, he had some good points and stuff, but you know, he was black. And you know, Marco Rubio, we haven't had a Hispanic president, so anyone who is Hispanic should, by moral grounds, be voting for him, right? You know what, now that I think about it, that puts all the Hispanic women out there in a really tough spot because you're ethically obligated as a woman to vote for Hillary, and as a Hispanic person to vote for Marco Rubio, you're just screwed. When a little girl in the United States opens her history textbook to view the past presidents of our country, she's confronted with an overwhelming barricade of testosterone. She proudly says to her classmates, I want to be the next president of the United States of America. Her classmates then laugh at her. I'm sorry, this is funny. The story is funny. Her classmates then laugh at her, call her names, and remind her that girls can't be president. The heartbreaking truth is that even as kids, they have evidence to back this up. To me, that is a strong enough reason to vote for a qualified woman for president. Mmm, pretty sure that story was a bunch of bullshit. And then they go on to say that they have an issue with people feeling the need to explicitly state on social media that people shouldn't vote for Hillary because she is a woman. And they said that this implies that there's some sort of shame associated with voting for a woman, or should I say, proudly voting for a woman. This, th this is bullshit. I will say the same thing on social media. I will say that it is absolutely wrong. Of course you shouldn't vote for her because she's a woman. If you want to vote for her because you believe in the things that she says and you support her and she happens to be a woman and that's awesome, great. But you shouldn't vote for her just because she's got a pair of tits and a vagina. To me, that's almost anti-feminist to do something like that, right? Because feminism is supposed to be <laughs> about the equality between genders, right? So of course you shouldn't vote for her based off of that. I mean, in my opinion, voting for someone just because they're a woman is as bad as not voting for somebody just because they're a woman, especially whenever it comes to President of the United States. I mean, it's kind of an important job. I think merit should get you there, not your gender. And this is this is reaching the news everywhere. Recently, I think Gloria Steinem was on Bill Maher and made some kind of comment saying that girls who are voting for Bernie Sanders are only doing that because that's what the boys are doing. This is supposed to be a strong woman out there, you know, fighting for equality, and she's gonna get up there and say that the girls out there who are voting for Bernie aren't doing it because they've researched. Oh no. It's not because they agree with Bernie Sanders and they like him and they think that he has a lot of things that he's working for that they support. You know, it has nothing to do with that. I don't like Bernie Sanders because I support his policies and agree with most of what he says. No, I'm only doing it because I see all the guys around me and they all like Bernie Sanders and I'm just a little woman. I can't think for myself. She said, when you're young, you're thinking, where are the boys? The boys are with Bernie. And speaking of women who do that shit, let's bring up Madeleine Albright. She was a former Secretary of State and she said this. We can tell our story about how we climbed the ladder and a lot of you younger women think it's been done. It's not done. And you have to help. 
Hillary Clinton will always be there for you. And just remember, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help each other. What? And yeah, obviously people heard that and were pissed off. If you don't vote for Hillary Clinton, then you don't support women and there's a special place in hell for you. So it's no wonder that there was a lot of negative feedback about this and Hillary had to address it. And instead of apologizing on her behalf and saying, no, people who don't vote for me, I don't think that they should go to hell. She said this. Well, good grief. We're getting offended by everything these days. Honest to goodness, I mean, people can't say anything without offending somebody. Ah. I mean, Hillary Clinton has been obviously offended by a lot of things. She goes on rants and stuff about things that piss her off or hurt her feelings all the time. Yet a woman can say, oh, you deserve to go to hell or there's a special place in hell for you if you disagree with me or don't vote for this candidate that I support and she doesn't see how that could possibly be offensive. Oh, you know, yeah, I just, I think that they should be burned and tortured for all of eternity for not agreeing with me, but I, I just don't see why people get offended. I mean, people are so offended by everything these days, you know? Ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. Like, there, there's just absolutely no accountability, which she regularly does. By the way, she doesn't take accountability for anything. And speaking of being offended and not taking accountability in one, she gets pissed and offended when Bernie Sanders calls her out for being part of the establishment. Anybody who ever took donations or speaking fees from any interest group uh, has to be bought. And I just absolutely reject that, Senator. You know, so I think it's time to end the very artful smear that you and your campaign oh, have been carrying on. out in recent weeks. And let's talk, let's talk about the issues. She called it an artful smear. And did you hear that? Did you hear that whenever she said that, how everyone in the audience booed? She got booed. That Secretary Clinton has the support of far more governors, mayors, members of the House. She has the entire establishment or almost the entire establishment behind them. That's a fact. But again, she continues to deny it. She continues to get offended at Bernie Sanders calling her out for being part of the establishment, like I said, which she is part of the establishment. I mean, she is supported by more politicians. She's supported by freaking Wall Street. And she has nothing left to defend herself, so she pulls the psh, I have a vagina card. Well, look, I've got to just jump in here because honestly, Senator Sanders is the only person who I think would characterize me uh, a woman running to be the first woman president as exemplifying the establishment. And I've got to tell you that it is, it, 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 it is really quite, uh, you know, it's really quite amusing to me. <laughs> Did you see? This is my favorite thing. Look at Bernie Sanders' face when she says this stuff. And I've got to tell you that it, it, He's just like disgusted. He's like, oh God, oh really, 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 really? You're gonna pull the I'm a woman card? And then everyone freaking cheers. I was just so proud of the booing before, but now they're like, yeah, yeah, she's a woman. Yeah, I forgot about that. So let me clear some things up. Just because you're a woman does not mean that you're not part of the establishment. I think it's pretty clear that you are. I do not support Bernie Sanders based on the fact that he has a strong male following. And you know what? That's actually something that, that I get kind of frustrated with because a lot of the girls that I know are really, really pushing Bernie Sanders. I mean, there's a lot of female support. I actually wanna make an entire video of women talking about why they love Bernie Sanders to clear up this misconception. Number three, no, I absolutely refuse to vote for Hillary Clinton simply based on the fact that she's a woman. Does that mean that I don't think it'd be great to have a woman as president? No, I do think that there is an underrepresentation of women in politics and I hope that that's something that we figure out and actually move towards fixing. But that does not mean that I'm just gonna jump on the first female candidate for president. If that were the case, and if that were the case for everyone who's complaining about this, then they all would have supported Sarah Palin, but no one did that. So anyways, Bernie Sanders stands for a lot of things that I agree with. I endorse him, I support him. I have a shirt on right now that says, talk Bernie to me. I'm trying to like jump into frame, but it says talk Bernie to me. Uh, like, yeah. And that's on my website, by the way, JacquelineGlenn.com, if you want to get one of these awesome shirts. But yeah, I'm just tired of people telling me that I'm, I'm, I'm not woman enough or something because I don't support Hillary Clinton. I think that's absolutely bullshit. And if we're gonna talk about sexism still being a problem, I think that's a prime example telling me that I should vote for someone just because they're a woman. That is the most sexist thing that I've heard. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Like this video, share it everywhere. All my social media links are in the description below. So follow me on everything. And thank you to everybody who's newly supporting me on Patreon. It truly means the world to me. I couldn't do this without you. So internet hugs. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys. So this video is going to be about Sarah Palin and Donald Trump.
from two people that I think are total jokes. And because of that, there are gonna be a lot of jokes in this video. Well, and then funny, ha ha, not funny. <laughs>